Hello everybody, welcome to your June 2018 general reading for your sign. This will cover your sun, moon or rising sign, so I recommend you have a look at your other aspects that make up your uh, astrological chart. Um, but I'm Laurian, I'm a witch, tarot reader, astrologer, psychic, whatever else you want to call me basically and it's my pleasure to welcome you to these readings um, if you do want a private reading with me just click on the description box below it'll take you to my website I do Skype sessions as well if you want a one-to-one -one with myself I don't mind staying up past my bedtime I've done it before and I could do it again because I know some of you are in different time zones to me so it doesn't worry um, I also if you do want a developmental edit on your book or novel contact me if you want a spell contact me um, anything you need just click on the link below it's got all my details there and I'll be very very happy to help you um, but in the meantime I really hope that you let me know in the comments below how things go for you it's always a pleasure to talk to you I really appreciate every single one of you so without further ado let's get on to your reading Hello my lovely Capricorns, thank you so much for tuning in to your June reading. So this will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon or Rising Sign. I'm just going to cleanse the area with some Palo Santo. Just so we can get the energy from the previous readings off and away. We don't want any of those coming back into the reading here. And we're going to be using as well the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake. So. Let's have a look and see what information comes through for you guys. Getting a lot of green, which isn't unheard of for Capricorn. Your energy seems to be very much in your heart chakra and an energy of healing this month. Okay. Oh, the Fool, that's good. The Magician. The Ace of Swords. Oops, sorry. <laughs> You've also got the Seven of Swords. You've got, yay, one of my favourite cards, the Nine of Pentacles. You've got the Five of Pentacles. You've got the Page of Cups. And you also have the Five of Swords. At the bottom, you have the Seven of Cups. So, maybe restrain your imagination or kind of focus on maybe one or two things rather than everything the scope of things that you can achieve are vast and plentiful but I think what you need to do is maybe focus more on the tasks at hand rather than oh I can do this oh I can do this oh I can do this it's not often that a Capricorn does that and allows your dreams to run away with you or run away with your dreams rather um but it does feel like you have got the sense of control or you need to have that sense of control to really put into effect the plans that you've made the connections that you've made over the last few maybe even years and months and stuff so i do think that you need to maybe focus on what's coming forward for you a little bit more rather than what is the potential of others so i think that what's coming out of this is very much a sense of um having that divide but closing it back up basically you do not want to be pulled here there and everywhere you don't want to be um kind of shoved into a particular area what you want to have happen is something that really comes forwards and allows you to breathe and explore things but you do seem to be going in a new beginning you've got the spontaneity card of the fool so other people may not understand your decisions this month but i think that you are feeling the energy rise for yourself here the nine of pentacles comes through with a very strong sense of gratitude and independence and luxury and feeling very content in yourself like you're making a difference you are very comfortable financially as far as I can see um you feel very much at home you feel like you have finally achieved something that you can just relax and um, this could you know represent so many of my friends you know they're sitting down with a good book a cat wrapped around their shoulders <laughs> some wine and some chocolate so this could really represent a lot of my friends that i know but it feels like you're very comfortable and you know this is a new beginning and you know it's going in the right direction no matter what anybody else says no matter what anybody else thinks of you you need to be rest assured that you are on the right position for yourself and the right direction for you because otherwise they will try and grab you and make you you know in the first card here 
doubt it wonder if there's another direction that you should be doing or you would be better off doing so just focus on the immediate action for you i mean here you've got the magician this is all about conscious awareness and concentration the power which is yourself but also you have the five of pentacles coming forward which is often about feeling a little bit worried you might have that insecurity of poverty you know what you have now it may not last you may actually end up spending more now you're earning more or something like that um or maybe you worry about what success will bring you so you start to worry about your day-to-day -day life and things that's saying that basically you do have the power to manifest don't worry about what happens if it doesn't manifest and don't worry about what happens if it does because if it does it means you're actually in a position where you can achieve more things and i think the power that you have you shouldn't be afraid of you should be embracing and learning that power maybe putting a conscious effort into expanding yourself maybe exploring what else you can do um, and it may be that you even surprise a few other people in the process of doing this but don't be afraid of being ostracized because you're getting better if people cannot support you because you're getting better at what you do then you do not need them in your life if people are looking at you going oh well you're exceeding expectations aren't you their jealousy is has no place in your path in, on the other hand if they are supportive very good they are a friend but then I have Ace of Swords here with the Page of Cups. Now the Ace of Swords comes through with a sense of power, victory and clarity. And I think that you're going to slash through. This is kind of like you're having a download from the universe. And it's telling you where is your best strength and where you have the power to say yes or no. Or tell somebody you know exactly what you think of them or have that breakthrough and that kind of awakening of saying this is what i want and this is what i need it seems like a little bit of the northern star like a fantasy quest coming through maybe you get the energy that you need this month to actually extend yourself and you know get to where you need to be but i think it's through creativity myself i mean many people have come to me and say i am not creative at all but i actually think you are it comes in different ways it doesn't just mean painting what it means is that there's a satisfaction in what you're doing there's a synchronicity this new beginning because this does represent a separation of your old life into a new one so this new beginning along with the fool here this is telling you that you are on a new path now you have the power to create because you've charged yourself with the magician just express yourself now make the time to use that creativity see the different paths that you can create for yourself in the future not necessarily right now you don't want to again be distracted by the different things that you can do but be creative express yourself maybe write down your feelings journal if that is something that you want to do just explore what it means to you what abundance means to you and what this new beginning has in offer for you i mean this blue coming through here is definitely a feeling of the throat chakra and communication so maybe this maybe you have to get creative in how you speak to people now or maybe you find a different way of reaching people i mean it could be that you know you have to get creative in your relationship or um in your position at work or trying to reach other people maybe it's that but then there's a fear that comes through here that this is all going to be taken away from you because nobody likes a show off or nobody likes somebody who's doing better than them and again it kind of harkens back to what i was saying if people are being like me 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 you're you're doing so well so you've worked for it you've got there if they're being oh no she's showing off then they're really not they're really not what you need and it could be this fear of somebody pulling the wool over your eyes taking what is yours um having that deception don't kid yourself don't let this card be about yourself by making it about you know oh i'm, I'm just going to be now i'm successful i'm just going to be the target not necessarily you just need to be very safe within yourself and very comfortable don't worry about it in that way it just needs to have that feeling of breathe you know don't worry too much it's all going to come as it needs to and to be honest i don't think you really need to complicate it really um it's something that yes is probably going to have that feeling of so so maybe in a way like 
you know, you're probably going to have to finally balance your month this month because you have such a big source of energy. You don't want to rush it. But I do think that you're going to turn a fast, victorious corner. And that's going to see your illusion and your fear turn into something positive if you can manifest it that way I really hope you can and I believe you can so do let me know in the comments below as to how things go for you everything that you need to get in touch with me including private readings is in the description box below as well as how to buy me a coffee but as always I do wish you the very best and I look forward to reading for you in the very very near future